Hey guys, good morning. It's so, so I did want to talk about the spy a little bit and why I still think that it's gonna drop. I mean, essentially, it's still on trend. Um, I gotta get rid of this forecast so I can show every. Damn it. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Get rid of this. It already filled the gap, right? There's a gap right here, so it already filled that. Get rid of this gap. Uh oh, what did I do? Undo this. Undo, undo, undo. There we go. <clears throat> it's already filled this gap, which is what I was expecting. I was expecting for it to fill the gap and then drop. But um, what we actually should talk about was just a small little trend that it's got going on here. Right? You know, and why I think that it's going to go down and break under 454. So if you guys saw my video before, like I think during the weekend or a couple of days ago, I actually said that I thought that, you know, SPY was going to drop to 454. It did. And I I don't think that it's actually going to touch trend again. I think it's going to drop. Um, it actually already created a bear trigger back here yesterday at 1130. And we saw <clears throat> not a significant drop, but we can already see the drop right now. And I think pre-market SPY is already sitting at, four, at somewhere like $455, right? So the real thing is that, you know, it, it almost filled the gap back here at 467. It basically went up, filled the gap, almost filled the gap, came down, touched trend, came down. And I actually do not think that it's going to trend. I actually think it's going to drop all the way back down again. So as of right now, I would have to say that, yeah, I, I am pretty bearish on, on, on SPY coming back down here. It might see another drop back down to a little bit under... Um, 450 or possibly another touch of 450. But as of right now, you know, I did see this S&P 500. It's back at 455 pre-market. Um, the hour hasn't even hit a bear trigger, which I think it will. Um, you know, and we can watch. Well, I'll show you guys too. And it, and also the stochastic is on trend, right? The stoke is on trend right now. So there's no reason for me to think that it's not. It's going to fight that for some reason. So there might be a little bit more wiggle room on the stochastic, like very little, maybe like a couple, like a point or two or three that it can run up, but I think eventually it's gonna drop. And I think we're gonna we're gonna have to wait for the hour to trigger on the bear side to see that drop. Cause every single, see, look at the, look at the reverse MACD. Every single reverse MACD trigger has been a drop, has been a big drop, drop, big drop, right? And even right now on this weak momentum on the bull side, you guys can see that down here, you know, it's, we're not even hitting a bear trigger yet. And we've already had, you know, a small drop from 458 to 457, and then we're still, you know, we close the candle under the previous bearish candle, right? So I think we're going to keep going down. I think we're going to keep dropping. It's just what the TA says. And we're still in a consistent, uh, we're still in consistent structure, right? So there's a good chance that we just hit trend up here on the stochastic, drop. Again, I don't think we're going to go back to trend. We might from, from the looks of it. It just looks like we're going to drop from here. This is the high. We might see a run up. And maybe a wick right there, right when market opens. But I think for the most part, you, I, I think we're going to go down. And I think we're going to go down under uh, 450. And I think the probability of us heading down to 440, um, which is the previous uh, support level right here, like 439-ish, I think it's still pretty high, right? On average, we do see um, a pretty nice drop. Well, we do see a full two-week drop and then a small recovery, right? So we do see a full two-week drop on... The S and P five hundred, which this would put it at the second week. So if we do rebound, if we would have to rebound, you know, today, <laughs> right, um, before anything else, which we did. We rebounded yesterday, actually. Um, but I still think we're gonna drop. I think the hour indicator is 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 performing extremely well, where it's being extremely relative to every single bear trigger. There's no reason for me to think that it's not gonna happen again. So as of right now, I would say I'm pretty bearish to the s p 500 hitting somewhere in the lines of 450 again and if we do end up closing the week more bearish which we actually did right second week first week we closed at 179 this next this this week we're going to close at 588 so you know a 5x on the bear side for for bull momentum so i'm inclined to think that we're going to head straight back down to 450 possibly drop lower so i'll see you guys later Bye bye